Thank you very much. It's lovely to be here, and it's a tremendous tribute to San Sebastian, as well as to our hosts and organizers, that uh, so many people are ready to come to a kind of scientific event and hear about uh, very difficult and very unfamiliar material. So thanks for coming. This is my first visit to San Sebastian, but I've uh, become a big fan. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, and I will certainly be voting for you to become the cultural center in 2016. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. From time to time in the history of physics, there have been uh, golden ages when our understanding of fundamental physics advanced dramatically in a short period of time. During the 20th century, I would say that there were three such periods. There was a period of uh, plus or minus five years around 1910 when the theories of special and, rel and general relativity were developed. There was a period of plus or minus five years around 1925 when uh, the theories of modern quantum mechanics developed. And then there was a theory of plus or minus five years around 1972 when uh, the cluster of concepts and models and ideas uh, now called the standard model of fundamental interactions developed. So the standard model is a very boring name for one of the absolutely crowning achievements of physics and I think of mankind's intellectual development. It gives us remarkably economical and we now know astonishingly precise as uh, well as beautiful accounts of almost everything we know about physics uh, using e, uh, equations that are vast generalizations of the equations of electricity and magnetism to also describe uh, the other forces.